Oh. Hello, everybody. Long time no talk. Um, even saying this, I don't know when this video will actually show up on uh, <laughs> public media. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to do a quick video um, before I send out a package to my nephews. I've had it for ages, um, but I haven't sent it because that's just how I roll. Um, but yeah, so I'm sending them. Where, where are they? Oh, oh god. See, this might make it hard to send it to them. I don't know where it is. Um, I'm sending them these. Uh, these are Oni masks. Uh, Oni is Japanese for demon. And this is for a holiday that they celebrate in February. It is one of my favorite holidays in Japan, <laughs> specifically relating to school. Um, I'll be sending them the mask along with these, these lovely things, which are beans. Why am I sending my nephews demon masks and beans? Well, for the holiday Setsubun. Um, Setsubun is kind of like a spring cleaning demon style. Um, basically the idea is that there, you got to clean out the demons in your house. And the only way to do that is throw beans at them, you know, right? Exactly. So you throw beans at the demons and they don't like that and they go away. And it's kind of like, it's getting rid of them out of your house, but also kind of like the idea of cleansing yourself. Um, so if you have like bad thoughts and, and things that are kind of, I guess, demonic in nature. I just, anything that's not nice or pure or whatever, you're also, when you're getting rid of the demons and you're kind of making yourself, um, happy and clean. Uh, yeah. So you, you throw these beans. Um, another thing that you're supposed to do with it. I read this. Some people know it. Some people don't. So I don't know if this is just like a tourist thing that they tell us that you're supposed to also then eat, um, However old you are, you're supposed to eat that number of beans plus one extra for like kind of the new year kind of thing. So that's in a nutshell, that's what Setsubun is. Now we celebrate this at my school. <laughs> you're thinking, wait a sec, how, do, how does that work? Um, so the way that that works is that we have a couple of teachers dress up as Onis. Now, you can look up pictures of this. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, because we we can't have photos from school. But I was told that I was allowed to at least, like, tell some stories from it. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, we have a couple teachers that dress up as Onis. Uh, and so, they've got a mask. And they've got, like, this crazy hair. And they have, like, those, like, body suits. We have one in red and one in blue. So, my nephews, they're going to get one has a red mask and one has a blue mask. Um and then during the day, throughout the day, there's different times they'll go to the different classrooms and they basically scare the crap out of the kids and the kids have to throw beans <laughs> um, and then get the demons to leave. So my kids are young. Um, they were like three, four years old. And our, our scheduled time wasn't until the afternoon. Okay. So the morning time, other classes are getting only visits. And then ours is straight after, like 10 minutes after their nap time ends. Okay. Um, which, you know, it's fine. But the thing is, is that some other classrooms on my floor got visited during our lunchtime. <laughs> and so we have lunch and suddenly they just hear screaming. And like, the thing is, is like also in Japan is you can touch the kids. Like, I mean, not, not that kind of touching, but like the fact that we can, we can like hold the kids, we can pick up the kids, we can hug the kids and stuff. This also means Onis can pick up children. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> the older grades, um, the Onis apparently came into those, which are next door to mine, my class, which are, you know, the two grades under, and they you know, came after the kids and like, you could just hear screaming and like all of a sudden you see like the Oni's like carrying a child out of the classroom and you're just like, the child's going, no, you know, um, and my kids start freaking out, you know, like one of them's getting up like, no, no, teach care, teach care. So I told them, I was like, I will lock the door. And so I taught them the phrase, because, you know, I'm always promoting English. So I taught them how to say the phrase, lock the door, please. <laughs> so, 
So the kids learned that I told them, I was like, if the door is locked, then I can't get you. So it's okay. And of course, the only are even like, there's big windows and stuff. There's a big window in our classroom. So all the classrooms have this. And so you could, the only would like sometimes like knock on the window as well to like scare the kids, to prepare them for later. Um, and so yeah, so they'd see me, the only, and they just like, they know, but they don't understand exactly what's going on like they've been prepped prior they seen they have a song they sing we had an assembly that morning they've been making little bags to like hold their beans and like they have a hat that they wear so like they know this is coming but i don't think they fully understand the implications of what it means to throw beans at a demon um and yeah so so they some were getting kind of freaked out but i've taught them okay lock the door um, and the Onis can't come in. I mean, we know the Onis aren't coming in until after, after the left time. Um, but the thing is, is then the kids have to go to the bathroom before they go to nap. And that means leaving the classroom. <laughs> and I was supposed to go on lunch. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to take some pity gum on my class and I'll take a group of them to, to the bathroom. Normally they can, they can start, they can go in groups like by themselves as long as we're kind of we're watching um but i was like okay i will take a group of kids so i told him i was like okay eat your lunch fast and i will take you to the bathroom you know protect you so a group of them get ready like i don't know i had like four or five kids or something and like i unlock the door and i open it because it's a sliding door um and like they're gripping like my shirt and my leg and my pants and their like hands and then we just kind of like waddle down the hall to the bathroom and i'm like okay I'm blocking the door. They can't get in. You know, you guys do your thing. So they all go to the bathroom and they haven't heard anything. Um, but like, okay, you know, so they get done and they apparently got a little confident and we're like, okay, we haven't heard the only, like we saw the beans all over the floor. Like it looked like a battle scene, like down the hallway, just beans everywhere. Um, but they decided, okay, well, we haven't, we haven't heard anything. We haven't seen anything. So I think we're safe. So they decided instead of waiting for me to take them back to the classroom, they decided to just go off on their own. So they kind of like went en masse to the bath in front of me to get to the door. But they didn't really think about the fact that obviously the other kids still in the classroom would have asked the teachers to, again, lock the door, please. <laughs> so they, they run to the door try and open it, realize that it's locked and that they are no longer in the protective circle of their teacher and just turn to me in abject fear. Teacher, yeah! And just like crying and I'm just like, I'm coming guys, I'm coming. And I unlock the door and I let him in and I have to shut it and I just have to like stay outside of the classroom for a sec because I'm laughing too hard because just like, oh my God, it was so funny. Like, I know... <laughs> oh my god it was great it was great um so anyway so we get those kids they've gone to the bathroom um get everybody nap time uh we do some extra tauntauning to get <clears throat> kids to sleep um and then nap time's over and it's waking up and my classroom teachers and i were pretty like we played off each other a lot uh which worked really well so we, you know, I had the kids just like watching a video or something because everybody's waking up and, you know, and we start, we start a class, but I know that it's going to get interrupted, uh, because the only coming, but the kids don't. Um, and all of a sudden my other teacher runs into the classroom, throws open the door, shuts the door, locks the door, turns all the lights off. And she's like, Oh my God. And the kids are like, what, what? And I'm like, Oh my God, what happened? You know, what, what, what? And she's like, they're coming. And we just like really quietly, like in like you know, a darkened classroom, like start putting the bag, like the, the little bags around the kids' necks and like putting the hats on and putting beans in all of their, um, their little like pouches or whatever. And we're just like, okay, you know, okay, just, just be ready. Just be ready. Okay. And they're just kind of like, what's, what's happening? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. And all of a sudden the, like the door gets thrown open, the lights get thrown on and just these two only come running in and they're just ensues chaos for the next five minutes it's just screaming and kids are running and like we have a photographer that comes and takes foot, fit, um pictures for the school and they come for this event so they're like they're taking pictures and one of my teachers she's got the classroom camera and she's snapping pictures and they're like yeah and she's like ha ha click <laughs> and like the kids are surrounding me 
because they're thinking that like teachers will save us and so like they're like crowding behind me and like at one point like I've got like 20 kids around me and like one of them drops between my legs and like just clutching onto my my leg and I'm trying to not fall onto any of these children because like they'll, the only will come and just kind of like pull their arm or something and they're just like oh ah, no we're like throw the veins throw the veins and like one of my kids she got like super she was like one of those like angry scared so she's just like she's crying she's like no 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 and just like crying but like throwing she's like how dare you make me scared you know and eventually it, it like it's supposed to last about five minutes um, it, it was like forever. And eventually they thrown out beans and the, the only kind of like fall and they're like, they've been defeated and they leave the classroom. And then it's just like, I mean, <laughs> after they leave, the kids just shell shocked. I mean, there's just tears and snot and like hair is just like from some little girls with really long hair, it's just blown. They're just kind of, <sighs> what, what just happened? And they sit down and my teacher talks to them and my tenant and kind of explains, you know, what happened and like, you know, you need to be good um, and, you know, not have the only come back because you need to be good kids and stuff. And, uh, you know, they're listening. Um, and then, but it's not over. <laughs> After that, the only come back. <laughs> but it's a nice Oh, well, I mean, it's the Oni still, but like, it's supposed to be a nice thing because we're going to take a room photo, a classroom photo with the Oni. So they've just gotten the crap scared out of them. And then we're like, let's take a group photo. So some of the kids like see them and they immediately are like clutching. They're like, oh my God, get me as far away from them as possible. And so like they get us in like a group and a couple of the kids have to stand next to the Oni. So the least scared of them are standing. A couple of them, you know, they're kind of like, okay, okay, they're not, like, doing anything scary, so I can, I can stand, and a couple of the other kids are kind of going, you know, and, like, in the photo, you can see later, like, I've got, like, two kids are just, like, clutching my shirt, another one's got my arm and stuff, and they're just kind of, like, and they're, like, smile, you're, like, <laughs> you know, and then afterwards, they were, they were like, does anybody want to give the Oni a hug? You know, and so some of the kids can, you know, give a hug. And some were like, I'm not going anywhere near that thing. And I had like one of the girls, she was like absolutely petrified. And I was like, Monica, I was like, do you want, do you want to give them a hug? And she's kind of like, you can see her thinking about it. And finally she's like, yeah, okay, but she's got my hand, you know. And so we kind of walk over and. She gives them like a really gentle little hug and then she's done. Um, but yeah, so, so that was, that was my first year, um, at the school and that was my first, uh, kind of real exposure to Setsubun. Um, and it was, <laughs> it was so crazy. We were finding beans all over the classroom for months, even though we like cleaned everything out by the end of the school, we had to do a thorough clean down and we're still finding beans in random places that just kind of pop up like under the beds or just like in somebody's locker it's bounced into their box or something like it was crazy so it was a memorable experience um yeah it's something obviously we'd never be able to do in the states um but yeah it's pretty it's pretty fantastic in a twisted way um but yeah, so I'm sending these to my nephews. Um, sorry, Luke, there's not a third one because I couldn't find a third. I wanted a different one for you, but, you know, you can always borrow them. And, boys, I suggest you sleep with those beans under your pillow. <laughs> you never know when Dad's going to come see you. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to share, like, one of my favorite holidays here in Japan. Um, but, yeah, feel free to look up pictures and video. I know that's going to be all over the internet and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have anything except for my own stories. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.